Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Context. Today we'll be powering up an Iron Man suit as well as a Polycade machine using the Girl with 1500 Portable Power Station. Now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it and trying on exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflict. Today we'll be looking at another portable power station. This one here is a little bit different. This here is the Girl Watt Infinity 1500 portable power station with a unique twist. Now, most of these power stations don't have high capacities, but this one really does. It's actually 2000 watts. That is insane. You can go ahead and essentially power on an air conditioner for your home if you ever needed to by using this particular station. Now, this also features 12 different outputs as well as four AC outputs. And then it has also a high generation of 1512WH for a battery capacity and can charge in just two hours. Not only that, you can charge it via car, solar power, which is about two and a half hours, and overall has a lot of functionality from even a cell phone charger. Now, overall, it sounds really cool, and in fact, that it has a lot of bells and whistles, including app integration. Should be quite interesting to see. All right, so check it out. This here is our packaging. This here is our box. Now, the idea behind this is it's portable, so it is quite lightweight. It's not as heavy as you would imagine, and in terms of size-wise, it shouldn't be as big as well. Now, as you kind of look at the box, it kind of showcases it right here. Of course, so it's got a very unique design just based on the look of it. Uh, and now it shows right here, it's got 2000 watts, 1512 WH. Uh, over here just shows specific things that you can go ahead and power. So you can power essentially a fan for up to 44 hours. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then kind of bumping it up a little bit, you got a PC for up to 3.7 hours, a television up to 8.8 .8 hours, and a variety of different things here. So that's kind of cool that it does have that functionality. Now, other than that, on this side here, kind of shows all the different outputs. So you do get get two USB A's, you get two quick chargers, USB C PD, uh, AC wall charge for an input, and then AC outlet, four of them total. One car cigarette lighter has an output as well and a wireless charger. So, so far it seems like a pretty promising device. Now priced at about $1,600, it is, it is pretty expensive. However, uh, it does kind of explain for itself. It's also important to note that it's officially $300 off on Black Friday. And with the discount code GROWTHBF, you can get additional $50 off. That saves you a total of $350. Uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Alright, so check it out. Before we go ahead and take a look at the accessories, some first impressions about this. Now I have to say it is a little bit more compact in size than I was imagining. So that's actually great. I love the handles, the way they're kind of indented. Gives you more grip on them overall to go ahead and carry it about. Now it does weigh like the size of a car battery, uh, but overall not too bad. Now on the top here you do have your wireless charger for your phone, so you can go ahead and place it on there. Uh, on the back side here I do see some vents for it to go ahead and essentially keep it cool. So over here you have a nice LCD display to go ahead and keep track of your power. You have your DC power button, your on off button, your AC power button here, your USB A two ports, your fast charger ports, and your USB C PD ports as well. So you do get a good variation. And of course on this side here, you're gonna see your four AC outputs. So that can range from 100 to 120 volts with 200 watts total. Uh, and then over here you do have your car uh, output port. So you can technically power on something with that from your cigarette lighter port. Now on this side here is going to be our inputs. So you're going to see your solar power input, your AC input, and then you have an overload protection too. So that is great. There is, uh, it looks like a fuse in there too. So if something ever goes overload, it'll go ahead and pop that, which is nice. Now let's take a look at this. So we have our user manual, then we have an accessory box. Now in terms of accessories goes, you do a variety of different cables. For instance, you have your standard input cable. So this here has no box. It just plugs directly into the wall. Very convenient and easy to go ahead and pack and travel with this. Uh, you have your two Two different inputs for your car charger. So this will go ahead and plug onto the other side and this will plug into your car. Uh, and then you have your solar power cables here. So you can go ahead and charge this via solar power panels uh, in which will charge in just about two and a half hours. Now your standard charger here will charge this within two hours uh, full full 100% and then if you want to charge it for up to 80% I believe it's one hour so that's actually pretty darn good to go ahead and charge it that fast. Now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this a little bit closer. So taking a look at this particular unit so there is 
an app that does go with it, so we'll look at that in just a little bit. But you go ahead and turn it on by simply holding the on off button like this. There we are. Now, right now we're at 42% capacity. This is just straight out of the box. I would recommend charging 100% before you start using it. Uh, you have your input currently and your outputs both at zero. Uh, by simply pressing on this here, you go ahead and enable the AC power, disable it, and then it has a DC power button as well. So you do have your variation of different uh, outputs that you can use, and then you have the individual controls to control that. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the app next. All right, now we're finally opened up the app here. I'm gonna click on Add Device, and I'm searching for our portable power station. Okay, then we're gonna press Wi-Fi Reset. Okay, our Bluetooth boat is on, and we've discovered it, and now we are pairing it, all right, it's gonna to connect to our internet. This allows us to go ahead and get control over it via wireless. So when we're not at home, we can connect to it uh, via the internet. All right, and we are now connecting it, and there we are, look at this. So this here showcases exactly what is happening in real time with our grow watch. So shows that there's a time remaining of 99 hours, uh, shows the temperature of it, as well as the battery capacity. Uh, shows the input and output, output, as well as the AC charger and what's connected to it. So this is pretty cool. Now to kind of showcase exactly how this plays out. All right, so for this test here, I will be powering on our MyBuddy, which is essentially a heavy duty robot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. It's like this. There we are. And let's see if we can get a live readout. So our AC power is on. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, there we go on our app. It shows that we're running 16 watts. Uh, and this is giving us a live readout of exactly what is happening in real time. So the robot is using 16 watts to go ahead and uh, power on from the portable power station and perform that action. So that's actually pretty cool. So being able to do that and then being able to technically power on 12 devices at once is really nice. Let's go ahead and put the test next and see if we can go ahead and power on an Iron Man suit. All right, so for this next test here, we're gonna see if we can power on our Iron Man suit using our power station here. Now, uh, to go ahead and do this, let's go ahead and plug this in from the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and then we're gonna turn on an AC power. There we go. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it says we can run this for up to 23 Point eight hours. <laughs> How insane is that? All right, let's kick it up a notch and see if we can go ahead and power up uh, both the Iron Man suit and our Polycade arcade machine and see how long we can run both of these based off of just using the power station. <laughs> it works! So we have our Polycade machine as well as our Iron Man suit both running off of our particular power station. Now this shows that we're using about 101 watts in which we can still run this for up to eight hours based off of this. How cool is that? So we can literally use both of these things at once for up to eight hours just with this power station. Now that kind of gives you an idea of what this is about. So overall you do have, again, two additional ports on the side. You have your cigarette port as well, as well as a variety of different USB ports, and you have a phone charger too. <laughs> now with that said, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.